Hey, good morning guys, it's John, Casey Farms. We are taking you along today on a feeding. So it is our morning feed, it just went past seven o'clock, Jamie's left for work, and I'm out getting ready to feed. And so we've got the cart loaded up, show you what we do here. We've got our pig feed, it takes two buckets. We've got Freedom Ranger feed for the meat birds, Cornish Cross, this is extra layer pellet for the laying hens. This is another large bucket of chick starter for all our different flocks and our ducks back at the pond. And then of course on the back, we've got our four gallons of water, which isn't anywhere near close to finishing, but we have our water stops along the way. And on the back, we've got our three other containers of layer pellet. So that should get us done today. Jamie and I were figuring the other day, and uh, it takes us about an hour to get the chores done. So uh, it's quite a bit, but feed is almost gone, so I'm going to be making another feed run. But we have started buying in bulk, so we don't have to go to the feed store every week. Um, this is all pig feed, but we are out of uh, layer pellet. Well, we have a little bit left in the bins, and we're out of chick starter. So we'll be going back to the feed store today to get that. But obviously I'm not gonna show you all of the feeding because I do not wanna make an hour long video and I'm sure you don't wanna watch for an hour. So we'll show you a little bit from each pen and see how long it takes. So it's just after seven. We'll see what time it is when we are finished. So let's get started. All right, first pen on the stop and I always go in the same order or else I feel like I start forgetting pens but our first pen is miss hazel and the piglets so i'll try to videotape this one while i'm feeding because i know people want to see piglets so let's grab our first feed bucket of pig feed and head on in and get her her feed now normally we feed two cups for pigs but now she's had her piglets we are up to about six cups just to help her maintain that beautiful figure while she's nursing pigs so i'm gonna try and hold the camera and feed at the same time might get a little shaky plus she's getting impatient well there's one on the head i have been putting a little bit of solid feed down here for the piglets don't know if mama's getting it all or just the piglets so let's go in and check these guys out here they are Good morning. Ouch. Bumped my head again. Hey, big pigs. I'm going to put some down here just in case they venture on eating some of that little hard pig feed. So piglets are doing well, but sorry guys, this video is not about you. We got a lot of feeding to do. So we're going to get some water for these guys and we will move on to the next pen. Okay hey guys, next, right next to Hazel is the ducks and Miss Small, the chicken who stays in here. They get the layer pellet and obviously we're filling up waters a lot for them. Let's get them out. All right, the only other thing with the ducks is they normally lay their eggs in the morning. So I'll go in and collect some eggs and we will be on to the next pen. Normally it's been three or four, and we have 
seven. So getting good. Let's move on. Okay, guys, next stop is the meat birds. And I finally got these guys running all side by side. So I don't have three different stops. I've just got one stop and three different feeds. So they're getting a little bit quicker in the morning. Some of these guys are getting close to butcher size. The rangers are getting up there. So we'll get all three of these moved, fed and watered. And then on to the next group. We are keeping track of the different feeds between this ranger group and this Cornish cross group. Um, I'm keeping track of how much feed they're going into them just so we have a good comparison. These guys are just getting the regular feed because it's hard keeping track. Three different buckets, three different bags open in the garage. So I'm just doing it on these first two groups. So I've got separate buckets for them on the cart. So we'll get these guys fed, watered, and moved to fresh grass. and watered on to the next group okay guys the boys are the next on the list and uh, they seem to be the loudest well between them and the girls you know it's normally the younger pigs that are constantly squealing for their dinner. You never hear Boudreaux over there squealing, but we've had these guys in here for a while now. You can see why. It's nice and wet down here. They can get in there and wallow. They've got shade in the morning, but uh, they are going to be moving up this pasture. So they've been here longer than we'd normally have them in here. But if you were in here and you were looking, most of their poop is all the way at the other end. And so this is pretty much fresh up here as well because they've been spending a lot of time in that wallow during the day when it's hot. But we'll get them moved up here shortly. But boys are next on the list of feeding. So I'll get their water and we'll be off to the next group. You bully. Okay. Next on the list is our first group of laying hens. And this is a group of Welsomers, and we have two Whiting True Blues in there. And these guys have started laying, so they are on the layer pellet. We try to move their houses every day into, into a new spot inside their pen, so we're just spreading that manure around. But first batch of layers out and ready for the day. All right, next on our list is our Whiting True Blues, and they have not started laying yet. Um, so they are still on a chick starter and these guys are quite a flighty bird. So they spend a lot of time in their house. Um, so they're kind of a, kind of flighty. Don't really like being around us and that's okay. But they should be laying here shortly, but right now they're still on a chick starter. So let's get them out fed and watered. Right, definitely a pretty bird we do like them and we are excited for their eggs those other two whiting true blues have started laying and they have a beautiful egg so we're excited for a whole whole flock of beautiful eggs our next group is patiently waiting i guess you could say patiently this next group is the gilts and uh, i've got some of their feed bowls next to the fence so i can fill a couple and then get a running start to get the rest of them filled so there's nine bowls in here and we got some Polish chickens. They've got a feeder in their house, so we don't have to fill that every day. We do check on it. So we've just got some starving pigs, and then we'll be off. Obviously, I cannot hold the camera and do this one at the same time.
right, we've got the girls fed and watered. They are quiet and content right now. Now we're at the point of our first fill up. We are out of water buckets, so we're gonna go fill up the waters and then continue on here in the back pasture. next pen on the trip doesn't really get fed but I do check their water every day and it is our donkeys good morning marine water is good about once a week we'll give them a cup of uh, crimped oats but they do most of their feeding grazing here in the grass so they are doing good but I just need to stop and say hey usually I get brayed at but I didn't get nothing this morning so we will move on right next to them is our Bielefelders. Let's go get them out. All right, some of our younger Bielefelders just started laying. Um, some of them are molting. You see that one over there to the left? It looks like it's molting. But uh, still working on that video about if these are really our favorites. I can see last night someone laid this early. Someone's got a broke egg inside there. But we're gonna get their feet in there. Sometimes I do just sprinkle some out here so they don't all have to eat in the house. The reason we put the feeders in the house is when we had them in with the pigs, we don't, didn't want the pigs getting their feed. So I'm gonna reach in here, get the rest of this filled up. They've got some in there, but we do like to top it off. This might be hard to show. Oh. All right, there we go. Looks like we got one laying under the basket back there. He's supposed to be up in the basket, honey. All right, Bielefelders fed, watered. Now we're gonna go to our farthest group away from the house. Okay, group way out back here is the pond ducks. They have been doing good. Let me get this fence turned off. They haven't really cleaned up the pond, as you can see. They stay back there in that back corner, and uh, that's about as far as they go in. Every once in a while, I'll see some trails through the uh, grass where they maybe swim out there, but not very often. So they haven't started laying yet. Shouldn't be too much longer. Get them out. We use this bowling pin to help keep the door open all day so the wind don't blow it shut. These guys are also on the chick starter until they start laying, so. There we go. Got 12 of them, bunch of males. I need to, uh, put some of the males in the oven. We're gonna have way too many males for the amount of females back here. But we just open this up every day. Sometimes you gotta kick it because it's stuck in there. And then they make their trek to the pond when they're ready to get a drink after they're done eating. So we've got a group up there that thinks we've skipped them. So we better get up and get them fed. got Miss Pregnant Penny and Big Mac here waiting on us. So let's get their feed ready. It's only two of them here, so there's no point in carrying the big bucket in. Good morning. Morning, Big Mac. You got to get out of the way so I can get to your bowls. Come on, Penny. You're in the way. Mac. I can't move when you're right there at my feet. Here you go, bud. 
All right. We are done. No, we're not. We've got the Novagens up there. Let's get them. I was going to say we we're done with our side of the property, but we're not. So let's get these guys water and we'll go up and get the Novagens out. Okay, Novagens are out, fed and watered. Obviously, that is our Bielefelder rooster. Update on the Bielefelder roosters. We have still not been attacked by a Bielefelder rooster. We've got three of them in three different pens and they have been great roosters. So normally these, these gals, and there's an egg in the back if I don't get them out soon enough. But we did leave their boxes turned around. So let's see what they've done already this morning, guys. These guys are awesome awesome egg layers we've got about 20 of them we're getting 18 to 19 eggs a day and we've already got some in these boxes two in each box one down in the bottom it's gonna be a good day for the egg layers now we're done on this side of the property let's go check out the other side all right we just moved kevin and penny i'm sorry kevin and sassy last night let's go over here and get them fed they're up under these apple trees and they've got a bunch of apples to eat under there i've already got some water in there gotta let me over Ready for a good day, bud? All right. These guys are done. We filled up their water last night. It's still good. So on to the next pigs. But before, this is uh, Cupcake's daughter. If you remember the video where Cupcake had passed and she used to smell like syrup. Sassy has really been smelling like syrup lately. So that's pretty awesome. We're excited about that. What do you think? Delicious. All right, next pen. All right, this is Mo and Chubbs. Morning, Chubbs. And Zelly. And we think she may be bred, but she has been hard to tell when she's in heat, so. We're not 100% sure, but with two boars in here, we're thinking the job is done. So, who was it, Mo? Was it you, bud? I don't know. You didn't get the job done with Sassy, so we will see. We'll have to send both their DNAs away when we go to get their DNA, but this is the group back here in the back part of our property we call the meadow so they're getting ready to head to all the way to the back but they are fed now two groups left and we're done all right these are the easter egger and welsomers the first birds we ever got when we started our little homestead and they have been moved to Sassy and Kevin's spot where they're going to follow in behind them and clean up their mess. So we moved them last night. So this is a new spot for them. But we've got fresh water. We'll be putting in. Let's see if they need it. Now yeah, somebody laid an egg. Yep, we'll put in some more feed inside their house. And we will finally be getting to our last group. So let's get moving. Oh, 
Okay, we are here at our last stop with the wood pigs. And this one's a little more difficult because there's thorns and trees and everything else in here, but they know where we're going. I'm gonna set the camera down because Millie always likes to be right at my feet and trip me as I go in here. So I'll get these guys fed and we'll check up with them when we're done. All right, we got these guys fed. Never been to a rock concert, but I imagine that's kind of what a mosh pit is like trying to feed these four or five, I guess. But that is our feed schedule, guys. Um, just about an hour every day. I'm sure today took longer just because we were trying to video and show you guys what it's like. But we do that in the morning and in the afternoon. Good morning, Millie. You've been waiting a while. So we do enjoy it. Definitely think it's worth it. And we appreciate you guys following us along on our feeding routine. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and we'll check you out on the next video.